Welcome back to Y2K. Despite everything, you've decided to watch for a third episode, and for that, we're very grateful. And sorry. Uh, we will be going on a sort of dimensional odyssey, I guess. I'm not sure what dimension we're in, but we're, we're definitely in one. I feel as though we're definitely going into this, not just literally blind, well, not literally blind, we're going into this in more than one sense of the word blind, in that, uh, again, I haven't seen this footage before, and now this context in which this game takes place is changing again. Marvelous. You may notice that this is not the room from which I entered, so that's something. I'm going to take a left here. This brings us to this room. I do like the creepy door noise, and the repeating hallways is, uh, it's almost kind of Mega Ten-esque. I do, I do like that. I noticed that opening the door opens an eye on the portrait, which is mildly creepy. I thought there might be something in here. If there's a pattern that's being repeated other than constantly going to the left, I don't really know what this, uh, what this puzzle's supposed to be. Well, that's sort of what I thought. I thought that these rooms sort of went around like the outside of a circle. They didn't. I spent about two minutes going left. Fair enough. I opened this door. And then I decided to go right and... Oh goodness, I've solved the puzzle. I don't know who that man is. His ponytail suggests he is untrustworthy. His hunch suggests he is old or bitter. But neither of them is Dali. Dali is waiting for us on that magic carpet ride. Well, we're getting a fair number of resources. Don't know what we're gonna... Oh. <laughs> this is about when I noticed that everybody had tooltips. I'll be honest, I was looking at the fact that uh, Sammy's portraiture in that status screen was a bit... Uh... It was something. Also, I take exception to the idea that Alex is just like me. Alex <laughs> is not just like me. Alex is what we try to... What we try to... Hope we don't come across as to people. I'm so happy to have you back. Oh, who's a good cat? You are. You are. Oh, I should probably tell you about Dali. Dali is a tool, much like your stuffed panda friend. Use Dolly to fetch items and hit switches that are too far away for you to reach. Again, why tutorialize this now? Yeah, at this so point, it's just a bad trend, so guys. we've it's addressed really useful, it. So make sure you try it. Naturally, they wouldn't give us this advice in context. Sorry about my house. I've been meaning to get someone in here to fix the power, but who has the time for that? I get so busy that little things like that get away from me. But that's normal, isn't it? You get used to the flaws in your own. Okay, now Sammy's talking too much like everybody else in this game, and my initial high opinion of her for making fun of Alex is quickly degrading. Oh no, I've become my mother. Oh, one last thing. And now she's becoming self-reflective. I've got a roommate. His name is Wilhelm. Alex's monologues are contagious, I guess. At least she pronounced Wilhelm correctly, ostensibly. I kind of wanted to see if there was something back here before we get down to more puzzling. That is a little odd that the doors suddenly don't open, but sure. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So there are a couple monsters here, and there's a chest over on the far side. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate, though, that you can't actually fall off the side like that. 
So she said Dolly was a tool, and this time I don't mess up with it. I find out pretty quickly how to do it. All right, that works. The red laser sight makes a little more sense in the context of Dali. Again, it doesn't exactly help us figure out how to aim Panda properly, but... No, it doesn't. Somebody in the thread mentioned that it would be a lot nicer if they had a little circle where Panda is. Also, when did Sammy take damage? Sammy took damage because I had given her a gold bracelet, which increased her HP by 7. Okay, it's one of those. Alright, what's her minigame like? This. Also, Sammy is a monster. Nice. Well, obviously her mechanic references uh, Paper Mario, so... Clearly, it need, she needs to be the best character. Obviously. Not intended as a dig against Shadow Hearts. I do really like that game. Fortunately, Sammy's minigame is a lot easier than Alex's. True. Again, I, I feel like... They're kind of night and day in terms of the relative difficulty of their mechanics as per the RPGs they referenced. Shadow Hearts is not exactly consistent or easy, whereas Paper Mario is very approachable. So I start trying to figure out how the magic carpet rides work. What we need to do is figure out how to drop over to that ledge over in the back that's got the shield on it. Is it possible that you're able to hit the switch on the on top of that ledge from where you were currently? I actually didn't notice the first time that there was a switch up there. So that makes this a little bit more complicated. It kind of fades into the, the wood or brick or whatever that's supposed to be. I'm thinking bathroom tile a la that fly swatting level in Mario Paint, if you remember that one at all. <laughs> I don't, but I'll take your word for it. Up, oh. up. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. We have Sammy, and Sammy's kind of a baller, so... I'm not hugely worried about this. True. Heaven Smiles got nothing on the party so far, so... Actually, that skull is level two, so I am a little bit concerned about him. But Alex can hit the Heaven Smiles. Something that disconcerted me fairly early about the Heaven Smiles is that sometimes on hits they would do this kind of breathing wheezy laugh that I sometimes do. So I would listen back to recordings and say, wait, did I laugh at that for some reason? And then realize, no, it's actually the clip. Nope, they just make some noise. I am a little bit concerned that Sammy has to totally carry Alex, but... also picking up on something that um, is bothering me a little bit in that you're getting all this XP and you're still level one. Yes, that's sort of unusual. At this point in the game, I have not seen a way to actually take that XP and level. And that's, well, it's starting to worry me. Can he make the blind shot, ladies and gentlemen? He can't. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> but I can't make the jump off. Next best solution, all things considered. Dolly actually has an effective range, which is kind of weird. Uh, I happen to discover it. Admittedly, it's a fairly long range, but... 
Well, then why wouldn't the targeting laser sort of show the limitations of it? Because that would make too much sense. Anyway, eventually I figured this out. What you have to do is get on the magic carpet. I was actually trying to, like, overthink this. I thought I might have to, like, jump between the magic carpets while they were in transit. But no, you can just do this. And that gets us up here to this sort of storage area. I'm seeing by the layout, I'm not sure if it's trying to be an Earthbound reference. Is there an Earthbound reference that I'm missing? I bet there is. The only thing I can think of is that the blue on the walls and the floor and the purple on the first level are actually kind of similar to the those shades of blue and purple that were used for the Ness's house in Earthbound. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, thank God, an elevator. Let's get the hell out of here. I, I do appreciate the water fountain being the point of healing, but wouldn't it be something if crashing on the couch was your way of healing in this game? I do think that would be cool. Well, at least we found Ali. Imagine how much worse it would have been without her. Right. So, where do you live? I'll walk you back home, or maybe I can borrow my mom's car and drive you if it's outside of Frankton. Why aren't they doing the visual novel? sort of characters off to the sides. Because again, that would make too much sense. You may notice that they don't actually have lip syncing in the world models. I mean, neither does Dark Souls, but Dark Souls doesn't call attention to it. No, and Dark Souls isn't really about the lip syncing animation. Ever heard of them, Alex? Sorry, it's just not every day I meet a girl who lives in an old factory. I don't see it that way. I almost feel as if the factory lives with me. As if the factory, just like Dali, is part of me. The factory is part of you? So, terrible writing aside, how's your... What are your thoughts on the voice acting? Well, I've heard voices in this scene recorded on at least three different pieces of equipment so far. So, <laughs> my opinion's pretty low. That's all right, um... The only thing I looked up about the cast so far is that apparently Alex is, uh, possibly Chris Neosi? It is actually Chris Neosi. It was obvious to me that her words didn't contain the entire truth. I guess you kind of hear Therian from Octopath Traveler in that. Chris Neosi with lots of reverb. At least that's what I thought at the time. I can admit now. Lots of reverb and a recording setup that, uh, Story makes like ours look professional. <laughs> a runaway woman was trying to escape hard times. Someone who had found refuge in her cat. Maybe the only thing left from her previous life. Somehow this felt right inside my head. But still, I, I point out in the thread that this game would actively be improved if you just took out all of everything Alex says in in his head. Not that I've known many. I stand by that assessment. Is that your hobby? Is what my hobby? Staring off into space and screwing up your face as if to say, what's going on inside my head is really important, so just let me- Oh, she's she's calling him out so hard. Oh, Sammy, what up? Sammy's my favorite character. This is something. You promised you wouldn't move me again. Please don't. Alex, Alex, don't let them take me, please. I had known her for less than two hours when she vanished from my sight. Oh good, another monologue. I thought we had better things to worry about. Talk about that for a second. Um, I respect the fact that they wanted to use the engine to kind of render that cutscene, and uh, 
opened up. And I like towards the end that it had this almost uh, Yume Nikki esque vibe to it, where very strange visuals were becoming kind of nightmarish as time went on. By nothing. They're one second and gone the next. Also, were those the dudes from Beautiful Joe? I was thinking knockoff Starmen myself, but. Oh, yeah, that would make more sense. Fortunately, she didn't do the Yuffie thing and take all our equipment that we gave her. So that's nice. But now we're alone with Alex again, which means he has more opportunities to monologue. Though I guess having a second party member didn't really take away from those opportunities for him, did it? No, it didn't. That's what's kind of crazy about this game's writing. And that was uh, the room reference. <laughs> Because, yeah, we, we all loved the room in 1999. Wait, the Silent Hill room or the, the Oh Hi Mark the room? The, the latter one. <laughs> so we can actually get stuff out of the crack machine? Huh. I quickly do some math in my head and figure out what the best return for my, my buck is because that's actually pretty important to me. So I'm going to buy three lemonades and see if there's food in the other one. The best return for your buck is refunding this game on Steam. Well, I'm talking about the in-game economy. Besides, I'm pretty sure I've run out the time for that one. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Ugh. I mean, it's the 90s, so your economic prospects are about as good as they're going to get, Alex. Unfortunately, which is kind of incredible because he's still like he doesn't have a job. He doesn't have outside commitments. Graduated from university at age 28, was it? I actually went back to that. I don't know where I got the 28 number from. It's probably closer to like 24 or 25. Well, he has nowhere to fail but up, apparently. The calm night wind of springtime seemed to contrast the inner workings of my brain. We're greeted with another monologue, of course. I was moving on autopilot back towards my home. There's a toxic waste. Can't he just fall it face first into that? that oh, I would love to. Unfortunately, uh, so at this time, I was down actually down under the impression that I stairs. couldn't do anything. Uh, I've been conditioned to believe this game would not be so kind as to let me do things during his monologue. I mean, come on. Toxic Avenger was still big in the 90s, wasn't he? You could make that happen. Irrevocable loss all for a woman I didn't know. This feeling wasn't pure. It was cut with something I couldn't put my finger on at the time. I believe now that it was a profound sense that I had discovered something. Eventually, I figured out that I can move, uh, and I start looking around because I remember there were some dumpsters back here. That moment, I was a child finding a magazine. Meant At this time, I'm hammering on the A button to try and open this I was <laughs> chest, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> the game will offer you no such mercy of distraction. <laughs> so eventually, I just try to run out the clock. Uh, as do we. Oh, there we go. Let's go see what's in the dumpsters. There was a woman out here inside this... I don't know what I would call it. A trellis, I guess? Yeah, it's a trellis. Okay, yeah. So, there was a woman out here inside the trellis, but she's gone now. So I was kind of bummed about that. I wanted to see what she had to say. I, I will say that want is should be tempered by the fact that it may present Alex another opportunity to go on a monologue. So, yeah, I'm I'm really getting to the point where I'm hesitant to interact with anybody in this verse because I know that just imp that just increases the likelihood that Alex will go on another one. <laughs> I'm gonna be a good boy and go straight home. You know, I've never quite heard of an RPG that actively discourages further exploration and just wants you to get to the end quickly you know that's actually kind of novel if that was if that was the intent and postmodernism says it may as well be then uh maybe that's something this game is secretly doing right 
AGDQ 2019. It's the Yeek speed run. Oh no. Make it happen, Thread. Apparently that means it's going to be me running it or something like that. I hope not. Let's go ahead and save. This is Eastern Frankton. It's home to such great places as arcade and sports. And pizza pasta. <laughs> because of course people were talking about that in the 90s. Are we done yet? 